Hello, Facebook Live. You can see my t-shirt. And this is my sign. This month, I want the Facebook people to see this. I've already been live on the radio, did the prayer, did everything. But I want my Facebook people to see what I'm talking about. Okay, Facebook? This month is August, as you know. And August is National Multicultural Donor Awareness Month. Okay? Donors Awareness Month. And many of you all know I have this ministry. My son went on to glory and many people. He, he left four organs. Four people are living. And I'm going to talk about this month. Just about 15 minutes, okay? I want you to understand that I have to obey God. And I have to be involved in what he's given me. And I want you for 15 minutes. I won't be no long because I have a guest coming. I just want you to listen to what I have to say. Okay? And the internet is listening and everybody, you know, over 3,000 Tennesseans. Over 3,000 Tennesseans. I'm just talking about the Tennesseans now. I'm going to stick with Tennessee because that's who I volunteer and work with. Are waiting for a life-saving organ transplant. Okay? 1,500 African American. Okay, that's black people. Again, WOPFM 99.9. .9, you on the radio? You may can't see this, but I have a sign showing it. Okay, and I have a lot of pamphlets in the front of me. Okay, multicultural donors awareness. This is awareness. Now we're bringing awareness to y'all. Okay, let me tell you how much Caucasian and white waiting for organ transplant. 1,468. Just in Tennessee, Hispanic and Latinos, 87, Asian and Pacific Islander, that's me. A lot of island people, you know, live in the States, in Tennessee, 53 of us, okay? Multicultural descendants, okay? 34, African, um, American, Alaskan native, the, in Alaska, 6. 88% of those who are waiting, you know, they're waiting on kidneys, kidney. And you could be alive and still give kidney. So you need to consider that. We're talking about, listen, be the gift. We're talking about giving a gift to someone. Many of you listening out there, I, I, you from Tennessee or wherever state, you could get in contact with your state and give to your state. But I want you to listen to this. When God is speaking to you, you need to do it right then. Go right now. One day, you or someone you love may need an organ or tissue transplant. Okay. You can help end the waiting list by registering as an organ, eye, air, or tissue donor. Okay? Be the gift today.com. Be the gift today.com. See it here on Facebook? Be the gift, okay? Today.com. I say this. Let's stop. Let's sign up now, okay? Go open your phone. It's very simple. Sign up and save lives. We can save lives just by signing up. Okay, because the, the register will know. See on my t-shirt, it's talking about you can register when you go to get your driver's license. Many places you can register. And this is very passionate to me. And I, each week during this month, I'll be bringing you on more information. Facebook you'll be getting because this is tagging. I'm going to go on Donate Life Tennessee web page on their site. My director, um, Ms. Dawn, um, Dawn Benjamin. I thank God for her. She, she, she we, we stay in touch because, you know, with this virtual thing, we have to do things on the Internet. This whole month stuff going to be going on. And this is a pamphlet. To call to save and heal lives. See the pamphlet? We want to heal lives. Okay? Heal lives. There's a young lady at my church, uh, um, Piper Davis. She's going to help a little bit, and I'm going to call my Bradford friend. I know the people who, be, who receive uh, my young lady who got my son hot. She's my daughter now because she has my son hot. Okay, Miss Hodden, Emily, I'm involved in so many people's lives and, and, and her family. I, I just want you to know that um, you need to, you need to hear what God is saying to you. So you could understand how I got involved and why I'm involved and why I'm continuing with this. And why you should just sign up. That's all you need to do. You don't have to be a volunteer, you know. I'm going to read some stuff in this pamphlet. I'm going to read some stuff. 
It says closing the donation gap. You're going to be closing a gap. Okay? Although organs are not matched according to race and ethnicity and people of different race and frequently match one by one. Okay? Frequently they match one by one. All individuals waiting for an organ transplant will have a better chance of receiving one of one if there are large numbers of donors from their racial ethnic background. And that's why I said we all, we all, I sign up, my family sign up, you know, my friends are encouraging the chance of longer term survival may be greater of the donor and the recipient are closely matched. What they're saying, when they share a genetic background, okay, we want you to know that um, 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 comparable blood types, blood types and tissue, compatible blood tissue and, and, the, and the blood types, that's what they're looking at, marks. Critically qualified, okay? You can be qualified for donor recipient matching are more likely to find, you know, amongst your ethnicity and your ethnic background, okay? I'm telling you, you need to realize we have a lot of Hispanic people now in, in, in Tennessee. We have, so if you know someone who speaks Spanish, they have this in Spanish too, and we can, I'm going to make it some people in Spanish. They have their program going too. We need to let you know that we need to help. 100,000 people are waiting for life-saving organ transplant. Mind you, I'm just talking about Tennessee, you know. 100 people are waiting for life-saving organ transplant, okay? Nearly 60% of the national 100,000 plus people are waiting for a life-saving organ transplant. Now, I'm not sure if that's Tennessee, but this is in my pamphlet. I think Tennessee is, how many waiting? Over 3,000. Okay, 3,000. Tennessee and I waiting for life-saving. Okay, but it's 100, I guess, world, with, for the whole United States. Nearly 60% of national waiting lists are from multicultural community, black community, okay? Hispanic, okay? 29 African American and Hispanic, 20. More than 39,000 organ transplant from 18,300 donors brought new life to patient and their family 2020, 2020, okay? 18,300 donors brought new life to patients and their family in 2020. Praise the Lord. Let's give God the praise too. The praise reports are coming in. Praise report. And my guest is here. Let me hurry, wind this up. I want you to know that um, on the average, 20 people died every day waiting for an organ transplant. 20 people. 20 people. And like that, we have one of our stickers to put on the car. It say, you can't, God don't need your organs in heaven. When you go into glory and whatever age, there's so much we can talk about. But because of timing, I want you to go on um, Donate Life Tennessee. You can Google up the information. And like I said, you can open your phone and you can register right online. It won't take you but three, four minutes. You know, be the, be the gift today.com. You can help someone. Let's step up, sign up, and save lives. And I have information in the front of your organs and tissue questions people ask. And if you sign up, will everyone be done to save my life? You know, if, if I sign up, will everything be done to see? Yes, I could talk from experience. You all heard my story. Go back and look forward in my Facebook. You will see my stories. They do all they can. You do all you can. They'll save before they even call them in. The doctors do all you can. Every brain cell was out of my son's head. Okay? He, 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 he couldn't, he just, God was just time for him to go. I'm just trying to tell you, I can't take 15 minutes to go into all the details, but if you go on their line and you get the questions, I'm going to see if I can put this on Facebook, you can get the questions, okay? These are the question sheet. People ask, most frequently ask questions, okay? Frequently ask questions, okay? Am I too old to be a donor? No, no. Any age can be able to donate, even babies. They take they, they, when the baby's born and the baby's sometime born, you know, brain dead or something, they use the baby. Nearly one, you know, I've, I've known the skin, they could use things. Recently, an 85 year old woman's able to be an organ donor. Okay? I'm jumping through this. Let me see this other page. This other page here. Because, like I said, I'll be back next Saturday with some of this, okay? I don't want to rush it. I'm going to go back through this next Saturday and the following Saturday. Because this month, like I said, and I have to bring the awareness. This is the ministry God has given me, you know? 
not just to, 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 to do, I do a lot of so many things, some of you don't know, aware of it, but my mean is bringing souls to Jesus, it's bringing you to Jesus, okay, asking God to come into your heart, that's the my mean ministry, but this ministry here is for Donate Life Tennessee, you know, you don't have to be a Christian to, to donate your heart, you could be whatever, Muslim, whatever God called you to be, but you just know that you could sign up because I don't know who's listening on Facebook and I don't want you to feel like you have to be a Christian. That's between you and the Lord. My other program is when I did, I want you to understand. You can save lives and help people get healed no matter what. Atheists, okay? That's your um, um, prerogatory, whatever you are, whatever you do. That's your, your, your religion. But my thing is to bring the awareness. And God is going to use me to tell you what to say. And what he's telling me to tell you is say, be the gift. You're giving a gift today.com. Go to be the gift.com and, and, and read it. We're bringing awareness to you. Okay, we're bringing awareness to let you know what's going on. What's going on. Next week, I'll be back with more of this Facebook because I'm being obedient. I'm being obedient to all my calling God has given me. All of it. Okay, my guest is coming in right now and I'm going to close this Facebook. So, Facebook, again, um, Donate Life Tennessee. Uh, if you have any more information, you know, let me read this part right here, and I'm going to close. Transplant success rate increase when organs are matched between members of the same ethnic background. Okay? Blacks are three times more likely to have end-stage end retinal disease. Okay? Because of this, 31% of those who need a kidney african-american that's why i stress them to my people my black people okay please you know someone teach them you know about this you help them okay mothers your 18 year old your 19 year old those in college we go to colleges we go to a lot of places but because of the pandemic we can't be at the college we can't go at the mall we can't do a lot of stuff so that's why i'm on this facebook you need to help me. In 2020, of the 12,911 organ donors, only 15% were African American. And of the 353 in Tennessee, only 13% was organ donors. Okay? While currently African Americans make up 28% of the national waiting list for an organ transplant. What they're saying here. Paraphrase this. We are taking, but we are not giving. Simple. We are sitting waiting for someone else, out, but yet we are not signing up. And that's why I'm, I'm emphasizing this. You know, we don't need to take our organs to heaven. I'm, I'm not going to go there right now because I don't have the time to go there. Cause... And of the patients on the list in Tennessee waiting, okay? And of the patients on the list living in Tennessee, 40% are African American. 47% on the waiting list. Just about half of the list, African American. I, 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 when I see this, you know, every time I see why God allow us to give my son four organs to people because it was like, we, we were not educated on it because we didn't know about it and they educated and they told us and the process was for me. Most of us start our ministry. Many people who are in drug and alcohol, they got involved with it when they came out. They have a ministry of drug and alcohol. God knows what he's doing. Anyhow, my guest is coming, Pastor Carlton. He is coming. I won't give him his whole half an hour. So again, God bless you all, Facebook. See you next time.